Hi, welcome back to another episode of my Dark Souls Remastered Nostalgia Tour. The video series where I casually walk around all the areas of Dark Souls. Roughly in the order that you would encounter them on a normal playthrough. No fancy skips, tricks, or speed runs. I am in the catacombs. I am deep in the catacombs. I am getting ready to jump down this hole, which, uh, as you may recall from my previous video, there used to be a floor there, but if you walk on that floor, it breaks open and you fall down. Um, this time it broke open, I think, because I was invaded by another player, and they must have walked over top of it and broke it open. So I'm just going to jump down here and see what we would have seen if we had fallen down here, which is a room. There's an item here as our reward for falling down. It's just a soul of a proud knight. But here we get to overlook the, the next big room that we have to fight our way through. Um, oh, okay. So up above us, we can see the, the big chasm that we've been working our way down from the top of. Those are the bridges that we, we push those switches that flip those bridges around so we could walk across them. I don't think I've ever seen this before. I think you can actually see farther in the remaster edition. Um, or at least you can see better at larger distances. So, um, you probably heard some noises down there below me. Uh, those are terrifying, terrifying creatures. Uh, we'll get to see them shortly. I kind of wish I could pull those, those floating skulls closer to me. Because I don't want to jump down and have them come after me. Let me try jumping here. That might have been a huge mistake, actually. Okay, I don't see the things that I'm terrified of. Which is good. Oh, yeah, okay, now I see the thing I'm terrified of. There they are, the skeleton bone wheels. Oh boy, okay. Um, the other thing I don't see is, uh, where is, uh, there's, I thought there was like a black knight around here somewhere, but I don't see him. So I, I, I can't quite see it. I, th I think I've actually made a huge mistake coming out here. Um, there's a fairly strong chance I'm going to die here. So I actually might... Uh, I might make a run for it here so that I can survive to fight another day. Um, I'm actually close to my ultimate destination here. So uh, basically I just need to make it across this room past all these bone wheels. These bone wheels are just the most terrifying creature in Dark Souls 1. If they 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 roll into you and um, they, they will kill you really fast because they will like knock you back and and they'll they'll kind of like stun lock you so you can't move and uh, kill you in the process. So I'm gonna kind of wait for them to wear themselves out. And I'm going to try to run across this room. This is a little different from the way that you would normally approach this, but uh, I, uh, I'm fighting for my life right here. It may not look like it, but I am totally fighting for my life at this point. If any of these guys run into me, there's a good chance I'm going to die. Okay, okay, that was good. That worked out well. Watch out, watch out, watch out! Ugh! Oh, I got nailed. Okay, I'm, I'm going through this. Go, 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 go! Okay. Woo! Okay. Uh, later I'll 
kind of explain why I felt like I had to do that. Um, there was actually, to my right, as I was standing on that ledge, there was actually a passageway that went back toward um, the the normal direction where I was, where the, uh, the necromancer was and the two skeletons, but... I felt like uh, there might have been a black knight standing there in the way, and um, and there were those two floating skeletons there, so I kind of felt like I had a better chance running across the field of bone wheels than than going trying to go through that black knight, because if I'd gotten stuck there with the black knight and the floating skulls, uh, the bone wheels definitely would have killed me. That was my thinking there. Um, but it's okay because I actually wanted to come here anyway. This is, uh, this is actually going to be a boss fight. And this is the exact boss that I came down here to the catacombs to fight. The entire reason that I went to the Darkroot Garden and, uh, got the Divine Ember so that I could make the sword so that I could come down into the catacombs. All of that was leading up to this moment fighting this boss. And I will, uh, um, I will explain why, I guess, after I finish defeating the boss or dying in the attempt. So I'm going to jump down in this room. I think I have no choice but to jump all the way down. And uh, I think I'm going to go two-handed. Um, I'm not really sure the best weapon to use, but this is the only one I got. So here we go. Let's heal quickly. All right, so this guy is called Pinwheel. Oh, oh, bloody hell. He's got fire, too. I didn't know that. Heal, heal, heal. Look out, look out, look out, look out. Look out. Oh, Jesus. So, I have to say, I've actually never had trouble with this boss before. So I'm terrified that I'm going to, the one time that I'm going to do, oh no, no, I didn't mean to do that. I gotta, I gotta switch. My, uh, oh my god, okay, I'm getting all discombobulated here. Am I actually hurting him? Yes, I think I am. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Yeah, I'm really terrified that this is going to be the one time that I do terrible at it. I really do not remember a fire from this guy. Wow, this actually seems different to me. Okay, there we go. We got him. I think. Did we get him? Yes. By the right of kindling, you may now kindle beyond the something, something, something. Yes, that is what we came here to do. We got Mask of the Father from him. Pinwheel drops one of three items. Uh, let's, let's look at what we got here. We got the Mask of the Father, which I think, yes, it's a helmet. One of the three masks of the Pinwheel, the necromancer who stole the power of the Grave Lord and reigns over the catacombs. This mask, belonging to the Valiant Father, slightly raises equipment load. Oh, awesome. So there's three different ones. Uh, it's basically random which one you get. 
I think it's random. As far as I know, it's random. Uh, there's like, there's a mask of the child and I think mask of the mother. One of them, I think actually, um, in, uh, each one of them has a different effect. This one slightly increases equipment load. I think I'm actually gonna, can I just put that on? Okay, no, okay. <laughs> I thought maybe somebody was attacking me. I was quite scared there for a second. Um, it has really kind of terrible effects. I mean, as far as, like, um, <laughs> it's also terrifying to look at. Um, as, as far as um, protection, it's basically useless, but uh, Having a little extra equipment load would be nice, although it's not helping with my rolling any, so... I think I'll just uh, go back to what I was wearing before. Okay, so we got this Rite of Kindling. Which is... As I mentioned, the entire reason that I came down here. What is, where would I find that? Is it a key? Yes. Right, which boosts bonfires even further. Now, the other thing I want to mention is, uh, which I didn't even realize until I, I kind of stumbled over this in a wiki, um, the cleric way back at Firelink Shrine, uh, the cleric Petrus, I think his name was, um, and also that woman and her two bodyguards, their mission was actually to come down here and find this rite of kindling. And apparently the cleric class, the, the quote-unquote backstory for the cleric is that your your pilgrimage is to come down here and find this rite of kindling. Um, actually, I should read this because it might actually tell me all of this in this text. The rite of kindling, this secret rite, allows bonfires to be bolstered further with kindling so that even more Estes can be collected. Kindling was a sacred rite passed down among clerics. But all undead can, it, can imitate the process in the same manner that they restore their hollowing with humanity. How peculiar that humans had found little use for humanity until they turned undead. That is peculiar. So the gameplay effect is that uh, instead of getting 10 Estes flasks at bonfires, I will now be able to get 20 Estes flasks at bonfires. Which... Uh, as you can imagine, is uh, very helpful. Boss? Beanpole. I don't know what that means. I'm trying to remember how to get out of here. So yeah, I, I actually... I don't think I've ever died to that... that boss before. He's, he's actually... Um, he's one of the easiest bosses in the game. There's... Okay, I knew there was a ladder out of here somewhere. There we go. So now we can actually get back to our main goal, which is, uh, boy, it's dark out there. Um, and oh boy, I, I don't have anything to help with that either. I have nothing whatsoever. Uh... Shortcut ahead. I think that's a game message. Yes, there is. That's how I go back that way. Um, so I was saying I could actually go back all the way back up to Firelink Shrine and actually get back onto my main task now, which is to go to Sen's Fortress and Honor Londo, which is what... Um, what's his name? Uh, Frampt. King Seeker Frampt. That's what he told us our mission was. But, before I do that, because I'm down here, um, I actually want to, uh, oh man, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it though. Need light, yeah, no kidding. I really don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Skeleton ahead, yeah. Okay, so I'm about to enter the Tomb of the Giants, which we briefly saw um, when we went down to see Gravelord Nito. 
Now, the big thing about the Tomb of the Giants is uh, you can't see a thing in this place. The lighting is just non-existent. So, unless you happen to have a lantern of some kind, Tomb of the Giants. Hello, Tomb of the Giants. Unless you have a lantern of some kind or some other light source, um, the entire area is pitch black like you're seeing right now. And you can only see like two steps in front of you. Um... So the only way I can tell that there's a skeleton ahead of me there is I see two glowing eyes in the dark. Um, you can also, these these glowing, um, colorful little glowing flare things, uh, those are around here periodically to kind of show you where the floor is. Hello, skeleton appearing out of the dark. Whoops. Ouch! He just kicked me right to the ground there. I don't like that. Don't kick me. Okay, I'd like for you to stop attacking me. Yeah, so my thinking here is um, I thought I would kind of go forward a little bit to unlock the bonfire that's down here because uh, I am going to need to come back down here later. And if I unlock the bonfire, it will make things much simpler later on. On the other hand, I, I don't have any uh, light source here, and man, is it hard to see without lights here. I, I don't totally remember. Where to go? I see there's a thing down there. I kind of feel like there's a sliding ramp that I need to go down here. And, and yes, you can actually fall off the edge and die if you walk off the wrong area. I'm already kind of lost here. I don't... Okay, so that's back toward pinwheel that way. What's my time? I'm at 17 minutes here. Ay ay ay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it to the bonfire in that time. I thought there was kind of a bridge here. There's a wall. Yeah, I, f I feel like there's a sliding... Some Somehow I'm going to... Oh, 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 I fell down. <laughs> I fell down one step there. I am just so lost right now. Okay, okay. There's somebody shooting arrows at me. I don't think they're hitting me, so I think we're fine. Oh, there's... Okay, there's the sliding ramp. Which way is the bonfire? Not really sure. Oh, man, these skeleton things... There's some terrifying, terrifying monsters in this place, too. One of... I think this is the ramp I need to slide down. One of the... One of my most... Whoops, nope, I can't walk over there. Because I'll just walk out into space if I try to walk toward that item. One of my most feared monsters from Dark Souls 1 is here. Okay, watch for arrows, watch for arrows. Bonfire ahead? No, be wary of path. Uh, so, uh, looking out that way, that red area, that is actually the demon ruins, which we, we briefly stopped by there after we defeated Chaos Witch Quilag. God, I feel like I'm making such a huge mistake here. I might end up... Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Where'd that arrow come from? Glowing eyes. I see glowing eyes there. 
I, I don't exactly remember where. There's like giant archers shooting arrows. That's what those sounds are. I don't quite remember where they are. Uh, what did I want to do? I wanted to... Um, I wanted to actually put my homeward bone on my bar. I did use one of those, by the way, a couple of videos ago, off camera, to go back to a bonfire. In case, in case you're keeping track of how many I had and noticed just then that I was missing one. Oh, that's where the arrow comes from. It's coming from down below and to the left. Okay, so I think when I go down here, I'm going to expose myself to those arrows. There it is, there it is. This place is so scary. <laughs> this is... This place was worse than Blight Town for me. Oh, bloodstains. Oh, so many bloods. Oh, hi, hi. Hi, skeleton. How are you? Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh, there's two of them. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. Okay. That was, uh... That was unfortunate. And, uh, we are way back here. Way, way back here. Okay, um... I have to go get my souls again. I have to go back down there and get those souls. But I think I'm gonna do that off-camera, because it's gonna take me a long time to go back down there and get those souls. So... I think when I pick up in the next video, I will be standing... I will either be standing at my souls where I died, or close to them, or I will be coming back to say I died again and I lost my souls forever. So, uh, uh, you can look forward to that. I'm not sure I want to do that tonight, though. I might be... It's getting a bit late and I've been playing a long time, so I might wait till tomorrow to do that, but man, I don't want to leave my souls down there. Um, man, that was such a huge mistake. I should have just homeward boned out of there. Why, what was I thinking? But, man, it would have been so nice to unlock that boss bonfire. All right, whatever. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching me die and uh, lose all my souls. Hope you have a great day wherever you are. See you later. Okay, didn't expect that. Great, get out of here. Dead. Yep. And that was that. That was that.